This final slide just summarizes for you some of the average normal intracardiac and vascular pressures found in the heart. The right atrial pressures typically vary between 0 and 4 millimeters of mercury. It's not constant because it varies with the respiration. When a person takes a breath in, the pressure falls. As you take a breath out, the pressure will rise a few millimeters of mercury. Right ventricular pressure has a peak pressure, or what we call systolic pressure, of typically about 25 millimeters of mercury, and its minimal pressure will be about 4 millimeters of mercury, very similar to what the right atrial pressure is. The pressure within the pulmonary artery is typically around 25 millimeters of mercury for its systolic pressure, and its diastolic pressure is 10. What this indicates is that when the right ventricle ejects blood into the pulmonary artery and reaches a peak pressure of around 25 millimeters of mercury, you'll have roughly the same pressure within the pulmonary artery. But as the ventricle begins to relax, this pulmonary valve will suddenly close, and that prevents the pulmonary arterial pressure from falling all the way back down to the diastolic pressure in the right ventricle. So its pressure remains somewhat elevated at about 10 millimeters of mercury. The left atrial pressure is about 8 to 10 millimeters of mercury, so it is significantly greater than the right atrial pressure. The left ventricular pressure is rather high. It has a systolic pressure normally of around 120 millimeters of mercury when it contracts. And certainly it's higher than that in a person with hypertension or high blood pressure. It might be 140, 160, 180 millimeters of mercury. But typically it's around 120 millimeters of mercury. And its diastolic pressure will be roughly the same as the pressure within the left atrium. So the pressure within the left ventricle is typically about 120 millimeters of mercury over about 10 millimeters of mercury. And finally, for the aorta, as the left ventricle, as the vent left ventricle ejects blood into the aorta, the aortic peak pressure or systolic pressure will be roughly the same as the systolic pressure within the left ventricle. So it will um, come to a value of about 120 millimeters of mercury. As the left ventricle begins to relax and the aortic valve suddenly closes, that helps to prevent the aortic pressure from falling to a very low value. And so its lower value, it's what we call its diastolic pressure, is typically around 80 millimeters of mercury.